Hi guys, I'm back to conservatory and today I want to work on this uh, Ello Brevifolia area. As you can see, there is a lot of agave funkianas or fatal attraction agaves that are overcrowded uh, and Ello Brevifolias have a lot of debris. Stems are really long and um, I really think I need to pull them out and possibly cut those stems, clean the dead leaves and move them to a different area. These agaves I will probably leave with these cactuses and move uh, aloes in this area nearby that's available. So let's start. The first thing I'm going to do is try to loosen some soil with shovel um, to try to pull out these aloes. One of the problems is that it's so hard to access because there is uh, these pokey agaves all around aloes. But uh, I think that they're not, the, the roots are not very deep so it seems like if I pull they do come out like this one. All right, uh, there is another one nearby. I'm gonna try to loosen the soil a little bit. And then pull it out. I think I'm going to just work without a shovel because uh, it seems to be just fine if I pull them. Uh, I just have to be careful not to break leaves to grab it well. The only problem is reaching to them and not getting poked by these uh, agave funkianas. There we go. There's some little ones that I'm pulling out now. So here they are guys. As you can see uh, I pulled just part of it. I have much more to go. But I just want to stop and show you how much debris there is on each one. Look at how many dead leaves, um, dry yellow and black. And what's interesting to me is that some of those stems, when you get down to root, they're very soft, like they've rotten and completely dried up. Uh, and I really think they need to be all cut uh, and propagated to be able to healthy grow to get the healthy grow and pups so I'm gonna be working on that and clean this debris as much as I could can because whenever there is a lot of debris then uh, there is pests here in the desert dome so that's my goal today all right I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna prepare them for propagation I'm gonna start with this little guy. I'm gonna cut about an inch below the healthy area. I usually do that because uh, about an inch below healthy area, healthy leaves, there is some roots growing. Like this one has four little roots growing. So that will uh, help plant propagate faster. Um, yeah, so this one is ready to be placed in a dry soil. This guy is much bigger, so I'm gonna need something else to cut it. because the stem is really uh, big and wide. So look at that root guys. Um, and as you can see there is still a lot of dead leaves so I think I'm gonna clean up the dead leaves a little bit and then cut the stem further up uh, because I don't think this aloe will be able to root that easily with all the debris around the stem and 
All right, so now it's time to cut it a little more, a little higher. And a little more cleaning of the debris, dead leaves. Maybe I'm gonna cut them a little bit. And it's gonna be all ready to be placed in the soil. It's so pretty. And I'm gonna move this debris at the edge of the dorm and then I'm gonna clean it up later, put it to the garbage. There is another smaller one gonna cut again and clean the, the dead leaves and there it is and there is a little root growing so that's nice so that one is ready to be placed in the soil as well just gently cleaning around the roots all right guys, so I pulled all of them out of this area and as you can see, it's much better. Of course, these agaves need their own cleaning. They have a lot of dead leaves and this poor little guy at the corner, blue agave, really needs to be moved. But uh, that's not gonna be done today. And here are my Ella Brevifolias left to root. Uh, they may not stay like this, but for now it's gonna work. And there is another area I formed because there is a lot of them. This is really cute up here. And then I also have some for sale. I'm gonna clean this up and place them in pots for sale. And then there is a lot of debris to be cleaned. Uh, it's unbelievable how much debris from that uh, smaller section of aloe brevifolia. So um, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.